Hey guys, Salaam Alaikum. Today we're gonna make a seek kebab, which is minced meat cooked on skewers. Basically some minced meat that we mix with all the spices and we put it on skewers and we gonna make it on the coals outside. So we took four skewers for that. We have four pounds minced meat. We gotta make sure there's some fat because it has to stick to the skewers or else it's just gonna fall off. For that, we have first shan masala, so we can use one packet of this. You can get it uh, in Edmonton on 34th Avenue through different 34th Avenue and 91st Street uh, from any Pakistani Indian store. We get our stuff from Desi Bazaar. You can get it from there. So since uh, this is for two pounds, we have some extra spices as well, since the minced meat is four pounds. So we have one tablespoon of uh, cumin seeds, one tablespoon of salt one tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of uh, turmeric, one tablespoon of crushed uh, chili, and we have five uh, uh, green chilies, and we have one whole thing of, uh, of uh, ginger, and then we have one cup of coriander. We only had frozen coriander, that's what we're gonna use. And this is the chopper, and we added one and a half uh, onions in it. So we're gonna start now. Now we're going to add all the spices, everything in a chopper and we're going to chop. Mm -hmm. So all the spices are in there now. Now I'm also gonna add the shan masala. As I mentioned earlier, you can get it from any Pakistani Indian store in Edmonton. We're gonna add it fully in there. Once it's chopped, we're gonna mix this in a minced meat separately and we're gonna put it in a freezer for half an hour so it's, it's, it's a little bit frozen so it sticks well on the skewers or else it's just gonna fall off. Okay, so we're just gonna make that, uh, what do you call it? Sea, sure, sure. Screw, uh, wet, and then we're gonna grab a very decent amount because since this is big, yeah. so we're gonna put it in the middle right. and keep pressing. Pressing with right hand and with the left hand, I'm keep twisting it. Okay. Keep twisting and going up and down, up and down. Make it even. Make sure your every side is even. So you're using three fingers and a thumb? That's exactly yes, what you're doing, like right? Yes, like this, 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 this. So here, keep it even, even. Okay. And keep pressing it down. When you see like your, this side is kind of a bit fat, so you just mm -hmm. press it down gently and then bring it down. It's broken from this side. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put another patch here. Like, okay. let's grab this one a little bit. And put it like this. Okay. Because it took only, what, 10 minutes? For the kebab to be cooked on the square, oh, yeah. then it has four when clicks, it's and evenly, we clicked like four times, then it was When done. if it's evenly distributed, like all sides are covered and it's like nothing is like kind mm -hmm. of uh, bad or thin, make sure okay. every side is covered. Okay. So it's just gonna take like ten minutes to cook, mm -hmm. maybe less than ten minutes. It depends on the flame. Sounds good. Thank or how so close much. is it? Done. Done. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, guys. We're preparing coal for the sea kebab. Should be ready in 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're gonna start making sea kebab. It's gonna be fun, inshallah. So, look at this uh, the same slab and bricks that I used to bake uh, in Handi or clay pot. I used the same, I just shifted around the bricks, and now we're gonna make sea kebab on it. Looks like a grill. There you go, guys. We put the sea kebab on the coals, and it's gonna take. Uh, two to three minutes each side as you can see these are squares every time you just twist it like this then it's gonna be two three minutes so it should be done in 
like seven to eight minutes for each sea kebab and if you're gonna put more. Here are the coals. They're pretty ready, pretty good and it's gonna be good. Here you go guys, it's been two, three minutes. Uh, deep sea kebabs are cooking on uh, skewers. You're gonna put some oil on it and the reason you do that so they won't burn, number one. Number two, they come off easily and the taste is better as well. And it keeps, it traps the moist inside the kebabs as well. So we're gonna put it up and then we're gonna turn it four times. As you can see, that's four squares. And now we're gonna spin one click. So there are four clicks on this uh, skewer. So we're gonna turn one click each side after three, four minutes to make sure that it's cooked from all sides. So the third one, one click, and the fourth skewer, one click. And we're gonna let it cook for three to four minutes again. So we gotta let it cook for each, I mean, all sides. And look at this. How beautifully it's gonna cook. Gotta make sure they don't get dry. There you go guys, we're on the second click right now and look at this, how beautiful it is cooking. So, my God. Now we're going to click again okay. Okay. Oh, and look at the colors. So we got to spin it as I've mentioned earlier four times. So there are four clicks no, on this no, one. One, two, no, three, four. Mama, he's trying to take my, my, my The second feet. click Bro, and this there is we go, feet. cooking beautifully. I told you. Look at that, it's not falling apart, the moist is there, you can actually see the moist dripping off the kebab of the no, and understand. the coals are pretty hot as well. This is my spot! Okay, here you go guys, it's gonna be third click now. There we go. Look at the color, beautiful. Yeah, that one should require. Uh, leave the okay, here you go, one guys. This one is ready, so we're gonna take it off the skewer. And the way you do it, you just grab it from there, and boom, slide it off. And there you go, perfect sea kebab on the skewer. And we're gonna show you uh, first round.